are all these tubes, okay, and this little bubbler setup that I've got up here. These are six separated bubblers, okay? They're um, they're not connected. They look like they're connected. I mean, there's so much holes plumbing going on up here. Each one of these is plumbed separately, except for the outlet gas line. Okay, it ties into all all six of them, um, but the outlet let gas line does not touch the liquid, so it's completely independent of the liquid. So each one of these bubblers um, is completely separate from its neighbor, and as is the plumbing. Now, how I made this work, you can see that each each of these um, three eighths this is po uh, polypropylene, okay, which is very compatible with sodium hydroxide. And each one of these um, uh, spacers, um, two of them are covers for the cell, obviously, and two of the inner ones are spacers. And I'll explain how those work in a minute. But you can see they're tapped, and these are 1 16th NPT uh, black nylon fittings. And you can see that um, they are plumbed, they're drilled. Uh, edgewise, okay, and then there's another hole that points towards the center of the cell, okay, and I'll show, and each one of these is plum is manufactured that way, okay, see if I can flip this guy around, you can see, try to get it in focus there, this is drilled down to this point, and this, at the end of this point right here, corresponds with the hole in the plates that I just barely showed you. Okay, let me explain. Then also, on the bottom, down here, same exact thing as on the top, okay? So what you have, or what I've created here, is a circulatory circuit that does not require a pump, okay? So the gas that's produced in the cell comes up through each individual line, and each individual line goes to its own separate bubbler. You can see I've got it... Uh, kind of bubbling away very very slowly right now. I'm going to turn this up in a minute so you can really see it. Um, right now it's like running at just a couple of amps. Okay, but you can see that each bubbler um, has, you know, a little gas popping out of it. Okay, and as the electrolyte fills or is filled, uh, fills each bubbler, it has a drainage port <clears throat> that leads back down to the corresponding cell, okay, that the gas outlet comes from. Okay, I don't know if you um, are seeing that or not. And these right here are little T's with rubber caps, so I can pop these rubber caps off and I can drain the cell if I so desire. Okay, now there's a couple things to the self circulating design. So the path, the circuit is gas out, okay, and then electrolyte back in. And the process of forming the hydroxy gas is the pump. Okay, pressure is created in the cell, pushes foam, and it's, it is foam, it's foam and uh, gas mixed together. Okay, that action, that um, production action, uh, pressurizes this entire circuit. Okay, and as electrolyte is pushed out of the top of the cell, it creates a void, a vacuum so to speak, or a lesser pressure than the top. And electrolyte is allowed by gravity feed to refill the cell as it empties. So it's a continual circuit. This bubbler needs to be elevated over the cell, okay? Otherwise, this, the recirculation, uh, recirculatory system doesn't work. So um, what I'm picturing is this part of the cell mounted low on the front of the vehicle, and the bubble are mounted high near the hood, okay? Uh, but in, in, in line with each other, you know, one can be right on top of the other, so you're still only taking up, you know, three or four inches of space, okay? Um, so how... This is a very complicated, uh, very labor-intensive uh, method of self-recirculation. Okay, why self-recirculation? The reason for self-recirculation is, number one, for cleansing. Um, when you first break in the cell, you are you're going to produce some gunk. Um, and I know I've heard people tell me that I'm using the wrong plates or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I use 316 stainless steel cut um, from Larry Gage from uh, Um These are high-quality plates. Um, they last, they've lasted 
some of, some of the designs that I've run on my, on my car that Larry's cut. Um, it's been I think almost two years now, um, and zero plate failures. Failures, zero plate failures. So Larry Gage from Amytech.com, word up, brother. Okay, so I used the right plates. I used distilled water. I used the correct electrolyte. Um, but there, you know, there can still be foreign material, um, fingerprints or stuff impregnated in plastic. Um, and there is iron that leaches out from 316. Um, it's, uh, there are better grades of stainless steel, but the cost begins to climb exponentially. So, um, I know from experience that after a couple of cleansing procedures um, at 20 amps or so for a couple hours, you burn out, um, basically push out those impurities out of the plates. And after a couple of times, basically you end up with the typical yellow tinged water. And the yellow is the chromium oxide that we've uh, I've talked about in some of my previous, previous videos, which is not... Um, it, it's not precipitates from dirty water or, or dirty stainless. That's that's the um, a, a product of uh, the electrolysis. Um, so um, with the self-circulating design, okay, what you get is a better uh, better cleansing of the plates. You don't have to go in, open these this cell up, and you know clean the plates or flush out any deposits on the bottom of the cell. Nothing deposits down here. Um, because it all gets pushed up out the top, and it ends up sitting in the bottom of these bubblers, which are much easier to flush than taking the whole cell apart. Um, you can take these clamps off, unscrew the top of the bubbler, dump the junk out, um, and refill everything with fresh electrolyte. Okay, it's, it's a little easier, it's actually a lot easier than shake, trying to shake the cell, cell around or having to disassemble it uh, to make sure your plates are clean. This is a self-cleansing design, which is really cool. The second um, advantage of circulation is uh, cooling. Um, because the liquid is moving through the bubbler and the tubes and, and through the cell itself, there uh, is increased cooling. Okay, So there's, there are huge advantages <coughs> to circulating versus static cell designs. Um, and so I've been working on trying to come up with uh, a viable circulation design and I think that I finally figured it out here with the BB Smack Gen 5. Okay, so another aspect um, and another advantage of this self-circulating design is no foam. No foam, even when it's green. And the reason why there's no foam, there's two reasons. First reason is, is that um, Foam does come out of this top tube, but by the time it goes through the bubbler water, um, you're breaking down some of that foam, reason number one. So the foam is dissipated through the natural bubbler action, okay? Reason number two, um, this bubbler offers um, offers pressure head of, of, you know, four inches of water or so, okay? So there's that. Then there's a check valve. This is a one PSI uh, crack check valve, okay? So already you're at a couple PSI. Um, pressure helps to reduce foam. So the cell runs pressurized. Okay, and then down the line, um, I don't have one here. I've just got a cup sitting here. But I still use, um, for the, from the outlet of the um, six bubblers, I still will use a um, BB Smack Gen 4 bubbler design. Uh, which the BB, the BB Smack Gen 4 bubbler design is not specific to the Gen 4. That bubbler design can be used on any application, any um, cell application. It's designed to be universal. So I use it on this, and you've seen it featured in my Genset uh, test that I just posted. Okay, So um, you can use that uh, bubbler design. That's also like another PSI or two. So the cell runs at a pretty decent pressure, you know, uh, 3, 4, 5 PSI. That keeps the foam down. So the circulating, the pressure, it all acts to increase the amount. You want f less foam because then you have more active surface plate area. Okay, so that's a huge plus. Okay, so now, um, last thing I want to do is go over um, the actual construction of the plates. Okay, this is, like I said, polypropylene, um, which is compatible with the materials that we use. Okay, and I'm going to use, this is a, an extreme uh, simplified version of what's going on uh, inside this working unit. 
Okay, so there would be a level of po uh, um, 3.8 polypropylene. Okay.